and you take a look around, it is very, very rural. And it really goes back to Somerset County's history because it is, its history is, it's a farming haven. Agriculture really does drive the region. In fact, there are still hundreds of family farms in operation, and really it's always been that way. They've been here hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years in a primitive culture. That this model shows you the first people of Somerset. They're known today as the Monongahela's. Hunters, gatherers, and farmers. They survived here a long time, raising mostly crops like squash, corn, and beans. But the climate changed, and as the earth cooled, the Monongahela's couldn't keep up. Their young died early, and by all accounts, the tribe was wiped out before European settlers arrived. In the 1770s, farmers filed into the area. Well, some of the things the farmers did was first to clear the land and plant the crops. It was very important to get a crop in the very first year that they were there so they'd have some food to sustain them through the winter. They developed and were able to obtain tools. It greatly increased their output and fostered new means to make money. In Somerset County, they weren't really professionals. They were jack of all trades. Along with farming, they could do coopering and make buckets for the maple sugar industry. They did a little blacksmithing on the side. So you see a lot of people that were, were able to do a, a multitude of, of handicrafts and so forth on the farm. Communities grew and people supported each other. They didn't have Tupperware parties. They had barn parties. The community would come in for a day of barn raising. They would be well fed and have the women would prepare big dinners and the men would erect the barn sometimes in a single day. This is McWilliams Farms, one of many dairy farms in Somerset County. Yeah, there's a lot more than anybody realizes. It's just 24 hours a day. That work is life for Clyde, Charlene, and their kids, Sam and Jill. It's just all we do, you know. We, uh, I grew up on a farm, lived on a farm all my life, and it's just really all you do. <laughs> they raise and milk 130 cows here. There are calves just a month old. By the age of two, they'll be bred and ready to produce. Uh, the cows get milk three times a day. These go on the cow's teats, takes the milk in here into the pipeline, and then it goes into the tank. Milk is sold by the pound, not gallon. This farm produces 10,000 pounds of milk every single day. If you're a milk drinker, you've likely had some that came from right here in this room. There it goes to Gallagher's. The McWilliams grow crops too. They sell some on the side, but most of what's grown goes right into feeding the cows. Before, in yesteryears, you'd have been for all day, all oh, for hours feeding this many cows. Now it takes Clyde just 60 minutes. This machine sorts everything out and delivers the food home. That's it. Down the There's road. a big difference between dairy farms and beef farms. The cows here aren't slaughtered for their meat. One of the family's older cows died just a few weeks ago. It's sad. So she was 14 and it was, it was sad. So just like your best friend. The McWilliams moved to Somerset from Westmoreland County, and they say there's no place they'd rather be. All the infrastructure is here. Probably the biggest, one of the biggest employers in the county, and probably the biggest economic income in the county, too. Be that as it may, this kind of work certainly isn't for everyone. Nobody wants to put the hours in when you can go to McDonald's or a fast food restaurant and get the same better pay and less hours. It's, you know, something you have to like to do. Nothing else I'd rather do, so but this is, this is it. You know, Marty, I lived here for 10 years and I, I was surrounded by dairy farms mm -hmm. and farming families. I really admire these people because they truly love what they do. They're not in it to get rich by any means, but they're doing it because it's been passed on generation to generation and they believe in it. Yeah, they really do. And if you've ever been to a dairy farm, I mean, it's not, it's not some sophisticated operation. Exactly. You're doing, you're doing hands-on work. It's a lot of work. And you get up very early in the day. And like you said, it's hard to get kids interested in that kind of mm -hmm. thing. But, but it's, it is the heart and soul of a lot of Somerset County. It sure is. Now